reason to go to MIT. And that, what that meant was it was, a, it was actually a, a fellowship, that was a, a joint fellowship that was sponsored by the Rockefeller Foundation, that was organized by the Sundance Institute and was hosted by the Massachusetts Institute of Technology's Media Lab. And they selected me. Um, not like, you know, despite arrogance and ego and all of that stuff, like I, I will always harbor tremendous insecurities about being a high school dropout. So the idea of going to MIT was like the perfect fuck you. <laughs> um, so I was really excited about that. And, but what it did mean was really literally shutting down my company. And I wasn't sure what that meant. I wasn't sure what that might yield. But I knew that, that this was something that, again, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know where it came from. It was something that felt fresh and felt like I needed to do. And I went there, I learned so much at, at MIT, and that's a whole other talk, but when I got back was, uh, when I got back was when I, I started being, and the ambition to start being was because I was surrounded by the smartest people on planet Earth inside of the MIT media lab. We're talking post-grad students from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, literally solving the world's problems. I shared a lab with a guy who had lost both legs while climbing a mountain and built robotic legs that he could run marathons and dance on. Like, these are the geniuses I'm surrounded by. So I'm like, head down to the iMovie editing videos all day and, and media. I'm soaking it up, soaking it up. 